Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update. Apologies for the lack of video yesterday. Um, but yeah, here we are today on this fine Saturday morning. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button and we shall go straight over to those much more healthier looking Bitcoin for our charts. Um, so yeah, not in yesterday's video, but in the last video, we did we did say that um, we were we were only still trading in the bottom quartile of our four our of our four well four quarters of our wider range, um, but that is now looking to change as we are well at the moment we are basically above this above this uh, first first level of resistance, which is obviously good to see because not only are we above that level of resistance horizontal resistance. We are also clear above this downward sloping trend line. Um, so yeah, very good, very good, very good progress that we are making. Obviously, the, the descending channel has a price target which will basically take us, um, well actually will take us just over our our mid-range, our mid-level of, um, of resistance um, for the wider range. So yeah, things could actually start to look. Uh, look a lot better um, and then and, but I'll, I'll caveat that with saying look a lot better um, for basically remaining within this sideways range obviously we're not talking about um, breaking above 40k and going onwards and upwards to new all-time highs we're basically talking about um, <clears throat> the fact that we we are not currently in the immediate in the immediate future going to lose 30,000 and dump dump deep down into the 20,000s but that is good that is I would I will take that as I have said um, I am happy for Bitcoin to trade sideways within this range for us to, to be honest for as long as it wants it can trade as long as it wants as long as we don't lose 30k and come lower um, but yeah and even if, even if we do that if we trade between like 20 and 30k and then turn back up I mean ultimately that will be okay um, but yeah realistically though we want to get back up back into the top half trade around 42 maybe trade sideways potentially for a few more weeks straight months um, and then break above and go on another hype cycle bull run. Um, obviously, we'll have to then overcome the potential uh, bull trap within this region. Um, I mean, another thing that I would say about me saying that I do want this to take take time is that if we do, like, especially from here, I mean, not, not saying that this is going to happen, but if we do break up, break up to the top half, break relatively soon, relatively soon, so like, say, early August, break above uh, this 42 resistance i think that could potentially just give us a, a bigger chance of a of a uh, of a bear trap within this region and not going onwards to all-time highs um, and beyond towards like say 100 150k i think if we take longer um fully kind of reset this uh this reset this um this well this um 50% plus move down um take longer grind back up and i think we then have a have a just a better chance of not not running into a bull trap where we then come straight back down into this region and potentially lower i think we then have got a better chance of taking out of these um these all time highs and and making new um well potentially even 100k plus all time highs so they are they are my thoughts on that. So obviously that is just uh, that's just uh, my thoughts. So uh, just crystal ball stuff there. But yeah, things things generally looking better. Um, Ethereum Satoshi pairing, the Ethereum Bitcoin pairing as well um, is has made a nice move above its important level of resistance. So if it can, it's, it's got it's got various horizontal levels to take out on this on this way up. But it is looking good. Basically, if we have like a quick chat about Ethereum, there are some incredibly bullish. Uh, incredibly bullish things about ethereum but they are they are offset with some um incredibly um bearish stroke risky things with ethereum which is why we are kind of probably seeing um not as a, a, a obviously a muted response to all the incredibly bullish things because obviously um obviously if the miners decide to like they want to play some games they they could they could potentially just absolutely crash the price of ethereum but obviously if vitalik has his way all the upgrades go through nice and smoothly and 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 it all goes to plan then ethereum will clearly be a lot higher um so we've got 
we've got basically opposing forces in Ethereum, um, and that basically is just a high. There's just a risk. Basically, Ethereum is a is is potentially a high risk play because it has big upside, um, but it does also, as relative to Bitcoin at least, it has big upside, but it also has the potential. There is the risk there for like a minor a minor revolt and um, and some serious issues and and some seriously lower prices. So that is the current tug of war going on with Ethereum. Um, I mean, even Vitalik himself speeding up, um, speeding up the um, the uh, the merge, the rollout, the ETH 2.0. Even him speeding up shows that the guy, that they are concerned about these downside risks and and what can go on. They are they are in a hurry. They are in a hurry because they uh, they are fully aware of of the risks. So Ethereum is a pretty much a high risk play. Um, it is it is well it is basically moon or doom for Ethereum. I think certainly against Bitcoin. I mean Ethereum basically does what um, if it all goes to plan, it's easily looking. I think easily looking at three X relative to the Bitcoin value. Um, but if it doesn't. I mean, we could easily find ourselves 75% lower relative to Bitcoin. So, um, yes, yeah, something to be aware of Ethereum. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, against Bitcoin, tightening formation here. Um, obviously, managed to try put in some lows here, get back above this support, this resistance. Um, and then, yeah, got to got to keep moving upwards uh, the usd pairing just uh, for what it's worth um is is making good progress as well uh, back above basically um our, our most important horizontal um for this recent price action um so yeah getting back above here looking good i mean we've obviously got a downward sloping trend line um <clears throat> if i can draw it in it's not that one because that's a horizontal but yeah relative relatively um um I'm not sure exactly where where or how we'll draw it but realistically we are coming up towards roughly where the area of it would be um so yeah take that out and we could then see some more acceleration to the upside because obviously this is a downward and i think we do also have it in the uh in the satoshi pairing i mean you can clearly see um in fact we'll just extend this one along I know we won't. Shall we extend it? Let's delete that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the wider pitch. Either way, you can kind of see what I'm getting at. We have got basically um, what is going on here. Uh, I think we've got. Yeah, we have got an extra line there. So we'll delete that. Um, we've obviously got this. Uh, this basically. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Right. We'll do this. We'll do this. I mean, as you can see, it's relatively difficult to draw this in perfectly. So it is kind of like much of the same way we get horizontal ranges. We are we're obviously going to get like a trend line range here. Um, but either way, you can see we have a sorts of trend line dependent on where you draw it and exactly how you draw it. Um, so we have got that. So we'll just draw it there for the time being, like a, a happy medium, bit above, a bit above, a bit below. Um, so yeah, we obviously got this. Take this out as well. And yeah, we could see we could see some serious acceleration to the upside. Um, I think that will all coincide with basically um, um, a successful, uh, well, basically a yeah, basically the successful uh, merge of ETH 2.0 and no uh, no minor problems. But obviously that is not necessarily going to be how it plays out. But uh, we can we can hope, can't we? Bitcoin dominance as well, um, flirting with this horizontal here which i think if it loses it loses basically these lows here uh well realistically we're coming down to here maybe we put in a, a weaker bounce um and then yeah we, we print a descending triangle and then go for a deep dive um back back to these lows um obviously the bullish scenario is we hold this and move back upwards so um what else do we want to look at on here we want to look at stocks because this is just incredible i mean this is basically why bitcoin is recovering um, because it is not going to uh, dive um, while stock markets are basically doing this, and I, and yeah, this is this just shows that everyone just buy buy stocks, buy the dip, BTFD, any dip, bought dip, bought dip, bought dip. I mean, even but it just it's just yeah, only number only go up. Um, so yeah, it it will work until it doesn't. But I think this um, has a lot more, uh, maybe a bit, maybe potentially a lot more uh, working to do, especially with the high. Uh, the, the high levels of inflation, the understated even high levels of inflation, um, where basically nominal value, this will look very good, but actually inflation adjusted is basically probably even trading sideways to down. But um, yeah, keep an eye on that. 
keep an eye on that because this is basically what it's helping us out. DXY though, uh, DXY not particularly responding. Had a little, a little wick down to our level, but um, yeah, still looking bullish. Still looking to try and take into try and take out this horizontal. If it does, I mean, it has to pretty much put a dampener on stocks. We have spoke about just exactly how DXY can work in a in a uh, in a bullish um, uh, environment for the US. It can be strong while stocks go up, um, but I would suspect that. Um, that the US maybe isn't the strongest, uh, isn't going to be the leading strongest economy. I think it is probably falling behind. But um, but yeah, so on that basis, I would expect this to have to come down realistically to keep us going. If it does go up, it is gonna it's gonna be a headwind. Um, so yeah, but either way, there we go, holding in there. I think at some point, at some point, um, this is just gonna uh, <laughs> capitulate to the downside. Um, we could probably draw uh, a, um, a uh, well, just a, a lower side horizontal here. Um, yeah, that'll pretty much do. We'll draw that. This may this may be the point where we then go uh, when we then start to test some real downside once we lose this this level. So we'll draw that in. Um, won't particularly draw anything to the top side. We've got our horizontals that will accelerate through if we go up. Um, the ten-year yield as well. Um, is it making a a uh, a lower high or is it going to uh, get back into what you can pretty much call the safe zone uh, between 1.5 and 2 percent we'll just call it rounding up um, is it going to find its way back into here um, and if so then yeah that should be pretty good pretty good for assets I think this is a good range for us to stay in anything else can um, obviously is a bit scary <laughs> for markets um, so yeah, there we go. Just have a look at Nasdaq. Look at it. Just what what a world we live in, guys. I mean, they can shut our economy down. They can shut everything down, and assets go up. House prices, um, yeah, stock prices, everything. What what a what a world we live in. We are fully defied uh, economic economic gravity. Uh, we have M magic money trees, and um, yeah, everything everything is all hunky dory. Um, so yeah, let's look at those stochastics now for Bitcoin. I believe that is the last thing that we need to look at here. Um, but yeah, for our, um, for our certainly did its job that we wanted it to do. Um, got us all the way up there, and it was the 10 and 12 hour that we were relying on getting us through uh, this uh, 33 to 34 thousand dollar level. And they are obviously doing a good job. 10 hour getting extended, so we could see a bit of a pullback. So if we, we do really want to. Um, basically pop through and hold this hold this uh, this level this level we've got to draw on the chart as you can see just here we want to pop through and hold this try and consolidate above it if we can um, but though we will have 10 hour and 12 hour pressure if it does start to turn down which it potentially will um, daily though probably looking good better here yeah daily looking better as you can see getting towards the uh, bullish zones of this um, now we're passing that baton. We had the four hour pass the baton on to the ten and twelve hour. That did a did a good leg for them for their 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 go. And now we're passing the baton for the daily. Daily's got to basically keep moving up and hold us above this. Uh, well, pretty much we'll call it thirty four. We're not there yet, but hold us above thirty four. Um, and then we are relying on the big guns. Two day turning up. Um, got plenty of room to run. Three day has turned back up and obviously plenty of room to run. Five day has turned back up and just all the all the room to run, <laughs> uh, and then weekly not turned back up yet. So we got that. So I mean, like I said, I think we do realistically um, have a good chance now. Now that we look like we are potentially going to hold this uh, bottom at on this pass at least. Like I said, on this pass, we by no means going bullish. We are just uh, basically not losing 30k. That's all. We, that's the only real takeaway we've got at the moment. Um, but yeah, we got a good chance of potentially coming and tapping, uh, tapping the top half, um, and then and then yeah, and then we'll just we'll have a reset. Do we consolidate and break above, or do we basically then um, put in a topping formation, maybe wick above, make just basically the inverse of this price action here, um, and then potentially come back down? I mean, that is the uh, the current game that we are playing. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, I think this may have been a little bit of a longer video this morning. Yeah, a little bit of a longer video, but makes makes up for the one. There wasn't much that happened anyway yesterday either, as you can see. All we did was trade sideways. This has only just happened on the last few four-hour candles. So um, yeah, there we go, guys. Remember, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and I shall speak to you guys soon.